Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today I get to introduce a new project Andrew and I are going to be working on. It is one that we already did in the past but failed the first time. But we loved it so much we're going to bring it back. It is an underwater ROV. An underwater ROV is basically a remote controlled underwater robot. It can do multiple things. So this was our first design. It just consists of a main tube, acrylic dome on the front. We messed this up the first time we glued it on. We're going to be able to detach it this time so we can actually reach all the internal components. And then for the first design, we did a PVC like test plug thing. It leaked. We're going to redo it. But our design, it consisted of four motors going up and down and then two forward and back. It's just a PVC coupling and then we printed a part that adapts it and fits it to the main tube. Here's a better look at the 3D printed part. And basically all it does is it just goes to the coupling and then the motor actually just sits inside. We 3D printed another part, a spacer, to hold it in the center so it allows water to still go through. And here's a look at the motor. It's just a DC brushless motor. It runs off of 12 volts. And to waterproof it, we just wrapped it in electrical tape and then wax and put it in a film canister. And this is just a set of underwater propellers. So the whole thing is controlled through one Ethernet wire going down to it. We have a Ethernet to USB to hook up to the laptop. And then on the ROV side, we have an Ethernet to USB. So the whole thing is controlled by an Arduino. And then the Arduino controls the DC uh, motor controllers. And then we are, are going to have two webcams as well. One in the front, one in the back, since we are doing two acrylic domes. And here is the actual motor controller. They are a 2 amp. So... Plenty of power because ours are only 500 milliamps. And then here is the dome actually. As we said, it's going to be able to come off the body. So this part gets glued to the main body of it. Then we have the gasket, dome, and then a, like a washer almost. So it can hold it all together and not damage the dome. But here that is. And we are going with a 6 inch PVC pipe this time, so this is much larger than the first edition, but let's see how well this dome does. Okay guys, so this is actually just a couple minutes later, and we, we did notice there was water um, from the first test, but we tightened the bolts down a half turn more each and put it underwater. Let's see it. Uh, give it a few shakes, get all that out. And we actually aren't seeing any any more air escaping, so I guess we just hadn't tightened them down enough. And these three D printed parts, like the main the top ring, actually is kind of dented. So after we print a new one, I think we're actually golden on this. So yeah, let's see, nothing in there besides the first test water. <laughs> but yeah, so it's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so here's actually the motor controller hooked up to the motor. I currently just tape on a nap into the back so you can still, so you can actually see the air moving. So as you can see, I just have it going forward and back right now. And now it's pushing the air that way. And now it's actually sucking the air back in. But, yeah, there's just a quick setup of it. And then there's a look at the code. It's literally just on, forward, and back. So... Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to say that this is not going to be replacing the main sub. We're still working on that. This is just a side project for me and Andrew. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week with another sub update.